welcome to the Archer's Choice. This week, we're moose hunting up with Fern and Cash Boy Outpost. And I finally got my moose. She did it! <sighs> we should let the crowd roar! Unbelievable! I know. The Vixner finally put it one down! I know. Oh, and I was crowd. pretty darn excited too. But you guys will check that out in a little bit. You know, we want to share with you why we do what we do. And especially when you experience the same things that we do on the camera is, folks, you've got to see why we love moose hunting, and especially moose hunting up there with fern, because during the rut, oh, it is prime time action. Check it out. What can we say? But it seems every fall we travel up to Atticoke in Ontario to hunt and share some great times with our dear friends Fern and Martha Duquette from Cash Boy Outposts. There is something mystical about being up in the Canadian timber in the fall. The fog creeps in and it takes your mind on a whirlwind of thoughts. The loon calls from a distant lake and the ducks are flying in search of a good lake to land on. The northern air chills your spine to the point of no return and the emotions run for you never know when that bull is going to answer the mating call of the cow. He could sneak in not making a sound or it's like a freight train coming through to pounce on his expecting girlfriend. Whatever the case, you best be ready. For if you have never drawn down on a bull moose with your Hoyt bow, you have an adrenaline rush like nothing else has ever given you. This week's show is, was, and will always be one of our all-time favorites. Why, you might ask? You got to see it to believe it. That's all I'm going to say. back to the archer's choice now we want to share with you some footage that well sometimes you get them and sometimes you don't
that's what moves on is all about. got on a downwind side of us. There wasn't anything we could do. To, uh, to call moose, what I do is uh, I imitate the cow calling the bull. Um, a lot of people might uh, just challenge a bull and that's the game they play and that's okay. That might work well for them. I have a lot of uh, good action and, and uh, um, success by just imitating the cow and that's pretty well all I do. I stick with it until the bull comes in. Every caller, every guide, will have a little bit of a different call, but so do the moose. So it's not overly important to be exactly the way the guy sounded on one tape or another or the next guide. Uh, do what feels right for you, and eventually you're going to hear call cows calling when you're out on your, uh, um, your location where you're hunting from. And try to imitate that. Try to do as, as close to a call as, as the cow is doing. And that's, uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. I'll try to demonstrate what I do. It's not the only way. Now that's the cow uh, calling the bull, the way I hear it and the way I do it, and it works quite well. Now I'm going to try a, a challenge call. Um, sometimes the bull might lose interest. You might have a cow with them, and you've got to try something. And even though it doesn't work as well for me as it might for other people, there are times when I think I've got to try it, and sometimes it works. Might uh, have a, an antler from a moose, scrape a tree, crack some sticks, real heavy big sticks, make as much noise as you can with breaking them. And I'd move away from the cow a little bit, and then also make a, a, a sound that would uh, be something like this. Oh. 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 Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But when that bull's leaving, you might as well try it. One of the main reasons we like going back up with Fern and Martha, you know, at Cache Bowie, with everybody, you know, Donnie and, and Jim, uh, it's just, they're into it. You, you know what I mean? Oh, and they're just such great people, and it's so much fun, and of course the moose helps. Oh, lots of moose, eh? Yeah, lots of moose, eh? Moose, eh? Yeah. You know, well, listen, let's not waste any time. Let's get back to Vicky's hunting. Well, see the Vickster put the hurt on this big bull.
Let's get back to Vicky's hunt. I started crying. I can't believe it. Oh you guys, he just the same, the one I almost got? It's the same one. He came back around. He came through my first, he, he got behind the first shooting lane. And he never came to the second shoot with me, and I'm like, oh, he's going for my... Did you guys see him coming? Oh, I drew back on him. Yeah. I, I was this close, and then he just went he in the woods. Well, yeah, and then he came out, and he ran through that first shooting lane here. So I was like, uh, uh, I drew back, and he went behind the second shooting lane, and he took off, and then you just kept calling. And we heard him coming again here. Let's go back. Come here. So then we heard him again over here. And Ralph goes, he's coming this way. He started coming this way and he saw, I think he saw this decoy this time. Grunting. He started grunting and I thought he was going to come out further. So I'm like thinking 30 yards, 30 yards, 30 yards, 30 yards. And he walked the brush in like he was coming closer. I don't think my shot was 20 yards. Oh no. And my arrow went right through him. I'm like, what? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. My arrow went right through him. And I'm like, <gasps> and I start breathing really heavy, and it's, it probably sounds hysterical on the camera. What? Oh, I know. Come on, guys. Oh. Hey, this is to share it with everybody. Oh, he's huge. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. Let me put this down. I guess you couldn't ask for a better shot, huh? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. this is my first bull moose. I've been on hunt here now. We, every year we get a moose or two, but for some reason I've never been able to kind of get rid of that monkey off my back after I missed that one. <laughs> and, and now I didn't miss. And I finally got my bull, and I can't believe it. I said, oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is really exciting. And once again, of course, we're up here with Cash Boy Outpost and Fern Duquette and Martha Duquette, of course. And oh, I finally got a bull been trying for a bull a moose or a bull elk and can never get one and I finally got my moose and I can't believe it oh and I told RJ that today I told him I said I'll bring you want mom to bring you home a moose and he said yeah so uh, so the night was the night oh, thank you guys so much thank you well as usual Fern Martha Jim Donnie Carol Cassia Bowie don't forget Josh oh and Josh <laughs> and Alan and anyone else oh who helped us or, or carries our stuff or whatever the hell it means. Oh, all of you are number one. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> Fern, you called this guy in. Martha Twice. almost, almost, almost got him. He just, I don't know, for, for what reason. And then he hooked around and he walked all the way around. And I'm thinking he wanted to maybe come and get on the downwind side of everything. You know what I mean? Of everything. And pff, we, everybody was set up in a perfect situation. Vicky shooting her Hoyt Razor, <laughs> razor Tech. Set 57 pounds. A Razor back 100 zapped right through this guy right and he through. went down in less than 20 yards. Unbelievable. My first bone was. <laughs> Let me tell you, we've said it before, we'll say it again. Once you release the arrow on that bull moose, the fun stops. Awesome.
stop. Vic, congratulations. Thanks. That was I super. Got I'm, a I'm telling you. Oh, man. But I was so pumped. I was so let's, excited. Let's replay this little. I got. I mean, were you like a ninja guy or what? It was that adrenaline. Is so okay. crazy. Okay. You had a sharp, you archery. Pro I mean, that was I a know, razor it was back. A razor back yeah. you know, Did you see the penetration? Penetration. I got him? Let me show you, folks. Let me show you the shirt I was wearing when she, when I was filming her. This was a perfectly fine shirt <laughs> until the Vixter started waving that broadhead around. Okay. And, I, I mean, might not have been, you know, practicing safe broadhead techniques. Yes, we we need to talk about practicing. Okay. Wait, I went to safe grab another arrow because he stopped. I was going to put a Honey, second I know arrow you in him, but then all of a sudden arrow. he fell backwards and all heck broke loose. Note: <laughs> When you shoot an animal and the animal goes down. Make sure you stick that sharp broadhead <laughs> back in the quiver, because this can be dangerous to you. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it was adrenaline. It happens. Well, we hope you enjoyed this week's show and all the adrenaline and Razorback flying. <laughs> Absolutely. And all the stitches and scars that almost came to my body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, remember, we want to see you back here next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on The, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.